Hi, this video is the demonstration of hair transplant linear scar, the strip method. Uh, as you know, I'm trying to video as much of uh, the FUT and the FUE scar. Uh, so this is the demonstration of the FUT scar. The FUT is the one with the linear scar. Um, and so we're running from one ear to another ear. Um, the FUT is a, an older technique than the FUE. Uh, we had to cut out the strip of skin to suture you up result to a linear scar. The FUT is slightly uh, more invasive than the FUE. Both of them are minimally invasive and that's why we do outpatient and then you go home. The FUT, the downside of the FUT are not just a linear scar, it's a little bit more invasive, uh, more painful, more chance of infection, uh, and uh, you have numbness along the linear scar. But those are, again, they, they're not that much of a difference. Uh, but the down, uh, but the good side of the FUT is, is more, uh, is cheaper, and um, it's quite significantly cheaper, and it grows uh, five to ten percent better density than the FUE. The FUE is shaving the head in the back and harvesting one root at a time. It leaves you thousands of dots of scar, allow you to shave your head shorter. The uh, FUE not just minimal scar, uh, but uh, it's less invasive than the FUT. But the downside of FUE is a lot more expensive, and the number of grafts we can do is less. The FUE you can do like up to twenty-five to three thousand grafts, where the FUT or the strip method will you can do five, six thousand grafts. So the FUT or the strip method is more for advanced hair loss, or or someone who are got the best price and the better density. I mean, again, five to ten percent. <coughs> where the FUE, if you don't want much of a scar and you want to shave your head. Thank you.